I Alima, I work with Uganda Wildlife Authority, uh, and uh, I'm a graduate. I did the bachelor's degree in computer science and information technology. I'm the first born in my family. Uh, I I have someone <laughs> who's looking after me, maybe yes, but we are not yet officially married. But I have someone. I have someone, yes. Okay, thought I'd never make it like no way. I'm a real star. Okay. I'm not more star. From your very own shit. I work with the Uganda Wildlife Authority, uh, and I'm the world champion in 2019 Doha in 800 meters. I'm so excited to share with you the journey to my success. We are back on track with the women's 800 meters final. Lane 8, the fastest qualifier, Halima Nakai, the first of two Ugandan competitors in this final, former bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games. Winnie Nanyondo, the national record holder over 1,500 meters. For and Isaiah Wilson certainly on paper the favorite, and it could be a moment of history because the United States have never won a gold medal at the 800 meters at a world championship that was quick through the first 200 meters a sub 27 seconds is incredibly fast but she's followed by ghoul and okoye they all like to lead these women so they come up to take the bell they hit the bell in 57.94 now the challenge comes on the outside from ghoul on the shoulder of rj wilson the brace of ugandans tucked in behind in third and fourth nanyondo and Nakai, Raven Rogers has got some work to do from the back of the field. Eunice Sum in the red of Kenya in fifth, but still Wilson yet to be headed. She doesn't want to let Gould get past her down the back straight. But the challenge is coming. Nakai is coming for Uganda. Driving up towards the finish line, but Nakai, all arms pumping down the outside, looking to deny Wilson. And here comes Nakai. Raven Rogers is storming through as well. It's going to be Nakai for Uganda. Raven Rogers will take the silver, and RJ Wilson has to sell for the bronze. The US weight must go on. It's glory for Uganda. Halima Nakai, the winning time, 158.05. She is the world champion. As the year started, I had a very big dream. I knew it was a year, this year 2020, it was a year for Olympics. So from Doha, I didn't rest. I had to keep on training hard, hoping that I would do my best in Tokyo. But due to COVID, most of the races were being cancelled. But uh, as the year started, I got an opportunity to take part in indoors. Those ones who, who have been following me, I did some races in France, and the performance was okay. <coughs> and the main target, it was to first start with the World Indoor Games, which we are going to be in Nigeria, that was China. But uh, due to COVID, the competitions were being cancelled. I was lucky. I came back safely <laughs> before the lockdown, mm, but uh, due to Corona, even training has been totally hard because, as you know, the lockdown, the the training facilities they were being closed. Mm, majorly, we were training from Nambole, so our stadium were, were be, was closed. So. We decided to look for <coughs> isolated places where we could access our training, like maybe roadworks, but also being not in position to train as a team, because you know, due to COVID, they could not allow us to exercise. But I thank God uh, uh, I'm healthy and my body is not in a a bad shape because I consider life as my first priority so I'm happy at least now the the lockdown is easing a bit even we, we are having a hope that 
in in case the situation stabilizes when corona maybe the problem corona has been solved we shall do some diamond legs because most of the races which were being cancelled they revised our calendar and the competitions they will take place starting from august it's glory for uganda halima nakai the winning time 158.05 she is the world champion previously i've been training with wabutwa falid is a good training partner he has been there to make me push harder and harder because i knew as long as the situation stabilizes i still have more to achieve in future there will be more competitions to be done in future so he has been there to push me even nanyo my training partner she also had a training partner that side where she has been also she has been trying to see at least she could keep fit so i know the situation has not been easy but uh, i thank god we've been trying to manage it the ugandan contingent by the way in the stadium like the ethiopians earlier on in the men's 5000 they came to see a ugandan success and they have been rewarded uh, me and, and nanyondo we are a family we started as friends because we've been with nanyondo it's now more than 10 years ago so you, all of you who saw that dance it was from deep our heart because our success has been a journey <laughs> we've been in athletics it's like now 15 years because me i started athletics at the age of seven years throughout my academics i've been doing athletics and my main target it was to to achieve a gold medal at world class because you all know people they had negativity that maybe people in central they can't do anything in sports they can't run maybe those people from northern or where, where they are the ones who, who are supposed to be athletes so it has been a journey to prove to people that as long as you are hard working you can do something Headed, but the challenge is coming the kai is coming for uganda nanyondo is coming nanyondo is She's always there to encourage me, where I always feel maybe it's weak. We, we always motivate each other, because hmm? our training, it's not, it's not only that every time we're on track, no. We sacrifice a lot. There is a lot we do behind you, even you can't imagine what we do. A lot. We do gym, sometimes we go to that side of Capturra. We take like three months in camp, climbing hills. Hmm? It's a lot. Where you find even time to stay with your family, it's not there. Our life it's to it's to stay in the camp. We are staying in the life of camps, you know. Now let me tell you it's if it's maybe it's a Monday. A Monday we always have like we call it like a school Monday. We call it school Monday. School Monday in the normal days. We used to wake up uh, at 5.45 a.m in the morning. So we get ready, we go for our first exercises. Th those ones who know the sports, they know what they call a first exercise. You got the first exercise, then you get ready for the training. At exact six, we have to be ready for our morning run. So most of the times we go for an hour. Within an hour, we can cover up like 14 kilometers. So that one, most of the times we have our target per kilometer. Maybe a coach can give us that we are doing a progressive pace. A progressive pace, that means we have to start slowly, slowly, but we, the pace has to go higher and higher. So, so when we go for that morning run, if we come back, maybe sometimes we, we can be when we're having a mid-morning training. So when we come back, we have a, a light breakfast, we sleep. At exactly 10, we have to be here at Nambole for a, a mid-morning session. So always mid-morning sessions, coaches are there. We have, we're having our local coaches monitoring our training. They are there with another training program. So we have to do that training program during the mid-morning. We finish it maybe at around, uh, maybe a half past midday. Then we have to rush back to our camp because we're in the camp. Then we, have, we go for our lunch. We're having our restaurant where we, we have our lunch. After having lunch, we freshen a bit, then we sleep. 
Then uh, at exactly five, we have to be again to be here in Nambole for our third session. So for sure, it's it's a it's a tough situation, but uh, at the end of the day, we enjoy it because we know success. You have to work for it because the the level where we are, there is where talent stops, and where it's it's hard work to save you. So to be a world champion, there is a lot to be done and you have to sacrifice a lot. It's going to be Nakai for Uganda. Raven Rogers will take the silver and RJ Wilson has to sell for the bronze. The US weight must go on. It's glory for Uganda. Halima. I'll start by thanking about the Uganda Wildlife Authority. Uh, that's uh, my local club here. Uh, it has been positioned to give me a job of which they're paying me some monthly salary which helps me to facilitate my training. Uh, even Uganda Wildlife Authority supports us with coaches who can monitor our training. Uh, right now they, they are paying for them some salary, even some fissures. Um, I also thank the Global Sports Communication, they, it, they're based in Netherlands. Um, they, they help us to access competitions internationally because to become a, a world-class athlete we we do so many competitions like in Doha I had done like 20 competitions before Doha so it's performing it's not all about training but we also need to access train access a good training program accessing competitions so that if you access competitions you are in position to tell to tell the level of your fitness so um, the the global com communication they also provided us with a dutch coach which is called Ade Reuter. is the same coach to joshua he, he provides us with the training program but since every time he's not here we are having two local coaches monitoring our training program there is Chinaria Edrin and Sharif Kasozi. They are always, always on the ground to make sure that we are doing the training in the right way. And the, they are always there to, to make sure that our feeding is perfect and our resting is also perfect. So to perform at that level, there is a lot which has been done because eh? Even resting itself is very important. Feeding, it's very important. And training also itself. So I know athletics is my job. So I took it, it's my job. So I had to follow the right procedures. So there is someone in charge of physio. The one in charge of massaging is there. There's someone who is in charge of feeding. So we put in a lot of money to see that at least we gain success. Yeah. The Dutch coach is the one who gives us the training program with that we follow. The local coaches, they are good because they are always on the ground to make sure that we do the right thing at the right time. So they are both very important because winning that gold medal, there is a very big team who make a lot of sacrifices to make sure that we perform to our best. So it, it, it costs really a lot. Yeah, yeah. And Nakai, who came through to win her heat with a bit of bumping and barging to get her way to the final, gets herself in a position early on. But it's Isaiah Wilson who leads them into the straight for the first time. For sure, I can't tell the actual amount, but I've lost a lot because you all know I just won my gold. I, I just won my gold medal. So each country was yearning for Halima. I had so many invitations from different countries. I had an invitation from Morocco. I had an invitation in, Mo in Doha Diamond League. I had an invitation in Monaco. I had an invitation in London. Every, every country was yearning for me. But uh, the instead of, uh, incident of Corona happened. And most of the competitions were being cancelled. It was mentally torturing. But what I know, it's not the end of life, you know. As long as I'm still li li alive and very healthy, yeah, there is a lot to be achieved in future. So I'm mentally strong. I'm focusing. I know so many races were being cancelled, of which I earn when I compete. 
So, I've incurred a lot of losses, but it's not the end of life. No, I can't tell the actual amount. I can't tell the actual amount, but I've made a lot of races, losses. Just know. Because me are competing in one diamond league, you know what a winner gets in one diamond league? You know? If you win a race in diamond league, winning a race, you get 10,000 US dollars. You know? You know it very well. So, it's a lot of money. But it's not the end of life. Yeah, there's a lot more to be achieved in the future. Ganda, Halima Nakai, the winning time, 158.05. She is the world champion. Fine, I thank God, God for that, for winning that medal. But even I'm not focusing on that money. I know there is a lot of more to be achieved with time. So, me per now, I'm not focusing on that money because that money is nothing. People have got money and people have made money. You can see there are so many athletes who are well decorated with so many medals, with a med like four medals for World Championship, Olympics. So me, I, me and Nakai Halim, I only have one medal for World Championship. It's a great opportunity, I thank God. But I'm targeting also a medal for Olympics. So I'm not focusing on this, no. That is too little according to what I'm targeting. It's nothing, because I have a very big team, you know. There's a very big team towards that medal. If I'm starting to divide that money for sure, even I can't remain with even like maybe 50 M, I can't remain with it because it has been a journey and there are so many people have been there for me. So that money is nothing. People have got money. I can't determine the future, but uh, as you know, I always dream big. I dream big and I know I'll give my best. Yes, I'll give my best. Uh, me are seeing the gold medal that I have. So it inspires more and more, you know. So it makes me to wake up, even if, to, to work hard, to wake up even if when I'm feeling a little bit weak, I know I have a medal to defend. So I'm working more hard and harder to see that I, I achieve the best. Because you all know, for us, we just train and we leave everything to God. Because we train and we leave everything to God. And I can't predict what will come in the next minute from now. So me, I'll do my best to concentrate on my training, to listen to my coaches, and everyone who's willing to advise me. I know I'll do my best in Tokyo. Never won a medal in the 800 meters in the women's event at the World Championship, so it is. Halima, I'm a Muslim. I'm proud to be a Muslim. I conduct the five daily players, but also during competition time, not even during competition time, but there's sometimes where we have to hold our hands and we pray together. So I conduct my five daily prayers, but most of the times I have to hold hands with my teammates and we pray for each other and we pray to God to bless us more and more. Lane 8, the fastest qualifier, Halima Nakai. The first of two Ugandan competitors, Winnie Nanyondo, the national record holder over 1,500 metres for Uganda. My being with Nanyondo, it has contributed to my success to a great, to the greatest extent, because we we found ourselves when we have the same dream, and we are fighters. You know, if we are targeting something, we have to fight until we get it. So. She's always, to motivate, she's always there to motivate me. Even if I feel a little bit weak, she's always there to motivate me. Halima, please, we have to do this, we have to this, do this. Even me, I'm always there to say, no, we have to do this, let's do this. Even me being in the competition when we are two, it's a great opportunity. You also, you can, we made history because we have never, we had never reached in finals to Ugandans. So it's a great opportunity to be with Nanyondo. I know this medal is going to change our life. We are happy. We are hardworking women. We are, we are very happy. Even Nanyondo, she did her best. And you have to thank her for that. Because in U Uganda, in 800 meters women, we had never had two finalists. And she finished fourth, ever. It's a great opportunity. I know one should criticize her or what or what, no. Nanyondo, she was fit, you also in Diamond Leagues, she was in her top shape. But the body can fail to respond, but she did her best. Yeah, we have to thank her for that. So.
right now I, uh, I have the competition program for this year. In case the situation stabilizes, I hope to participate in August. I already have an invitation with Monaco. So many countries that ready, 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 ready. Olympic champion, a world champion, but at least I'm happy I've started testing the sweetness of my dream. But I know there's a lot to be achieved, yeah, if I keep on working hard. Believing in yourself is very important because once you get an opportunity to, sh to show that you can do something, do it with one heart. You know, without minding where you come from or who you are, I'm short, I'm tall, no. As long as you've trained very well, yes, you can do it. Just be in the line thing that it's my time now to market my country, to market myself. And this is my bus business. And this is my day here yeah, to, to prove to the world that I can do something. What changed in my life, it's the title. I'm the world champion, and I have a good legacy to the young, those who are following me. But me, I lead a very simple life, you know, because I know there is a lot more to be achieved. So, fine, I won the gold medal, I thank God, but uh, I know it's, it has been a journey. So, this is not the end of everything. I have to stay focused. So if I, I, I divert my mind, that I focus on other things, I'll be defeated, because people are working hard. Yeah, so I, um, I'm focused. Uh, I'm not minding about maybe I'm a world champion, I shouldn't train, no. I have to work hard and achieve more and more. If today they close Nambole, I'm so worried. Where, where will I train from for sure? Yet people are hoping for good results, but I need the stadium to train, to keep on perfecting, because I train weekly. Hmm? So I hope when I'll get money, or when I'll get everyone to help me, because I already have land on ground, when I'll get money, I'll construct a stadium. So that so many people can, can, so that so many people can access the training facility. Here we only have Nambole, of which not everyone can access it. Not everyone can access it. So what if they bring the COVID people here? Where will I train from? Yet in, I already have the invitations for, it, for the races. For, for me, I just pray to anyone who can help me. I have already I have the land on the ground in, in Rugazi. In case I'm, if I'm to get any assistance to level it, I'm willing to do it for sure. Because we only have one stadium. It's so painful for sure, very. watching this program, mm, may I just need to encourage you that please, we can do it. Uganda, we are so talented. Our futures are so bright. No matter the facilities or what, as long as you show that at least you have something, you can do something, please do it. Even people who can assist you, they'll come in as long as you've shown that at least you, you have potential in something. So we shouldn't sit on our souls, consoling our souls. Some people, they sit on themselves saying that, no, I'm here from in this background and this and this. No, it doesn't matter. We have a right to, to change our future. So with success, you can choose to be successful in life. Here comes Nakai. Raven Rogers is storming through as well. It's going to be Nakai for Uganda. It's glory for Uganda. Halima Nakai, the winning time, 158.05. She is the world champion. I'm not a monster.